All right, getting ready for the first pass. Might be wondering why the intake manifold is off. Well, I am going to be taking the heads off and checking the head gasket because I don't think that I blew a head gasket, but if I'm doing this much work and the compression test last night went okay, but not the best, numbers uh, four and six there were kind of off a little bit. It probably would have ran just fine, but you know, it's easy enough for me to just to pull these off. And, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at this head gasket, but the intake manifold gasket looks okay. Um, there's a little bit of water in there right now. It fell out of the, uh, the water sleeve there. It's not from anything crazy like that. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> this should go all right. It, it, I've done this stuff before, so... Um, easy enough to just take it apart, take the valve train apart. I don't really want to do it because I know how heavy those iron Vortec heads are. Um, but basically at this point, I just have to take apart the valve train here. I have to take apart this <clears throat> alternator bracket. I'm going to be putting this somewhere else. I don't like where it's at. Um, <clears throat> and then, gosh, yeah, I don't know. Beyond that, I think it's time to pull the heads, but yeah, I'm going to uh, set you guys up and start taking all this apart. Wow, so popped off the left bank here on the engine. And uh, yeah, it's pretty well milkshaked. So definitely uh, some water got in there. Let me show you the valve cover. Look at that. That's nasty. So... Hopefully the other side doesn't look as bad, but definitely a head gasket went bad there. Uh, I didn't find water in the oil, so I don't believe that we ruined any of the bearings or anything like that from uh, this head gasket, but there was definitely a, definitely something wrong with that head gasket, so yep, I'm going to keep on uh, taking this apart. See how bad this side is. Ruined. Lovely. That's never cool. Okay, so both sides were uh, pretty well milkshaked on both of the valve covers. Um, I mean, honestly oil doesn't look that bad in there that water like I told you guys earlier is from that water jacket but yeah I'm really curious um, <laughs> what it's gonna look like once I take this head off um, I guess I, I thought it might have only been this cylinder over here on four and six but if that one has that as well then pretty well safe to assume that something went wrong over there as well so I'm gonna start uh, taking apart this valve train and checking it out Okay, getting ready to uh, take this first head off, see how this looks.
So, so from what I see, I mean, none of the passageways look destroyed on here. Um, I'm curious where we're getting our water from. I think those cylinders might have water in them just from me taking off the head. They obviously haven't been sitting there with water in them, but... Yeah, I mean, none of these passageways are obviously blown out or destroyed. Um, hmm. Yeah, kind of curious what, uh... What happened here now? Alright, on to the next one. I'm getting ready to look at this head here. See if there's any cracks or something that I'm missing. But, um... Yeah, for the most part, everything's looking okay so far. Nothing is obviously bad to me right now. I don't see any cracks or anything. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So where was that water coming from? Everything else looks okay. This intake gasket looks great. So, alright. Let's keep going. Okay, head number two. Hopefully this one looks a little bit better. Last one didn't really look bad though, so let's see. Okay, this one looks surprisingly good as well. I know I spent a couple extra bucks buying uh, some decent head gaskets, and apparently it was worth it. You can see each one there. There's no, uh, hmm. there's no sign of it giving out anywhere from what I can see. Everything's still there. Let's see. Yeah, the back side looks fine too. Um, once again, that water in there. Probably just from when I was taking it off. A little bit of gasket in there. But, <laughs> yeah, nothing looks uh, remarkably bad. Surprisingly, it's not what I expected. Um, let's go look at this head real quick. Got everything laid out. Tried to organize it. Here's the head. Nothing looks crazy bad either. Looks pretty normal to me. I don't see any cracks. I see some some build up on some of this stuff, but yeah. yeah overall it looks pretty damn good if you ask me. So probably could have left it, those head gaskets, maybe retorqued them down, maybe I lifted one up or something and it screwed up when it was hot. Um, but obviously, by those valve covers, I showed you guys those I believe already, but these valve covers, I mean they, where did I put them? There they are. I mean they have clear signs of water and oil mixture. Not a ton though, and I didn't find any water in the oil. So, hmm, maybe it was just a very, very minor leak and I can't even find it on the gasket somewhere. Um, either way, yeah, I'm gonna be ordering new gaskets, new valve cover gaskets, another intake gasket, seal this all up, and I mean, honestly, these head gasket bolts, we torqued them down, right? Um, but I'll tell you what, some of those felt pretty loose, so I'm not sure if they wiggled their way back out and 
they weren't as tight and maybe that's how water was getting through and I just need to re-tighten them but I mean overall everything's looking great engine looks still pretty damn new all the cylinders are still there I didn't see any damage on any of the cylinder walls I'll look real quick again a little bit of build up there just some carbon but yeah, none of the cylinder walls. I mean, hell, you can still see some of the hatch marks in them. So, <laughs> wow. So overall, I'd say this engine's great. I just need a new set of head gaskets. Retorque all this down, and she's good to go again. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's some good news for this. Um, next episode, you guys can probably guess what we're going to be doing. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.